Back at the Vulcan Soul Farm here in Costa Rica, and I'm standing with uh, Alejo, the farmer. Um, in front of us, we have um, a table of uh, basically a geisha varietal that is processed and it's about to dry, and it's one of their red honey uh, profile coffees. Um, could you tell us a bit more about the drying phase of the red honey? Well, the red honey is uh, it's our full honey. We leave all the mucilage in in the bean. Mm. So the more honey it has, the longer it will take to, to get right. So for example, our fully wash will last less than the, the, this red honey and our natural will last even longer. So, so the, the, the more stuff it, it has uh, the bean, the longer it will take to, to dry. So this is the stage it takes longer in the, in the, in the wet mill to dry the coffees. So we process them, we depot them in one, in the day they arrive. And then it will take, for example, uh, this red honey will take around 11 to 12 days to, to dry. Okay. So we have two options. We have the, re the rice bed, bed here, or we have a patio. So for our smaller lots, so of our small micro lots, we use the rice beds. Uh, the rice beds will take a little bit longer. And for bigger, for bigger micro lots, we'll use the patio because we have more space to, to dry them. But basically, we have here an advantage to use the patio. We are higher up here, we are at 1500 meters. So here is not that uh, hot, uh, the temperature. We, we don't have such uh, high temperatures, so the patio, the, the temperature here is not that high. Mm. So we are finding a great quality of drying our coffees in the, in the, in the patio. Yeah, we should mention as well that this is, is probably the windiest coffee farm slash mill I've ever been to in my life, which is also a part of pushing that temperature down, right? Um, I think there, there's always been a discussion uh, in terms of processing, uh, more specifically drying, uh, raised bed versus patio. Uh, some people swear, swear that a raised bed is better, uh, but I see meet more and more farmers that actually prefer the, the patio. Are you able to taste any clear difference in the cup profile based on if it's drying on a patio or a raised bed? In, in a raised bed, it will take longer. If you, at the beginning, you will have a little bit more fermentation in the, in the raised bed. So if you're looking for that extra fermentation, we will probably use the raised beds. But if we're looking for, for cleaner cups from the process, uh, we, the, the patio will be a little bit faster drying the, the coffees. Mm. So we, for those uh, for those profiles, we will uh, use the the, the patio. Mm. When when we reference um, longer, shorter um, process time or drying time, how many days are we we're talking about? Roughly? One day tops. So One day tops. Okay. Yeah. So so still very uh, still very similar. And the average drying time here at Volcano Sul then would be. It depends on the process. So yeah. for a fully wash, will be seven to to eight days. Mm. Yellow honey around nine days. Mm. Red honey is uh, 11, 12 days, mm. and the naturals will take around 15 days to, to dry. Mm. 15 to 16 days. Yeah. Now, one of the things we've been noticing working with uh, Vulcan Soul for, for two seasons now is that for, for some reason, um, your guys' coffee is holding up extremely well, meaning that the shelf life of the green coffee is very long. Uh, we tried some of our coffees uh, now during this trip as well, it was harvested last year, and they're still tasting really, really good. Um, wh what do you think the secret is there? Uh, the secret is try to to take out the humidity slowly out of the of the bean. So we always give a rest to to the coffee. So we we dry from about eight in the morning to two p.m. Then we bring the coffees together and rest them all the, to, uh, in the night and. The idea is that if, if the humidity goes goes out slowly, the or the humidity all in all the bin will be very even. Mm. So uh, if we do it very fast, we will maybe um, over dry the outer part of the bin, mm. and we will have more humidity in the inside of the bin. So it won't be even. The water activity will be worse in the in the bin. So that's the, the secret is to do it slowly, and that's why micro mills can have this 
very good quality because mm. they have the space and the time to do it. Mm. Mm. Yes, I mean it's, it's 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 hard for someone that haven't visited a lot of mills to maybe understand this. But I mean, we're talking about lot size here that are, are maybe sometimes at you know 12 kilo, 15 kilo, uh, up till you know a lot more as well. And the, just the sheer logistic of dealing with that and drying that is is very impressive. Um, furthermore, you guys do one thing that is, is relatively rare and I think is really interesting, whereas some of the lots you're finishing off in the mechanical dryers. Yeah. Well, we always give a, a, a pre-dried a pre in, in the patios yeah. and then the final two days we will give the final point in the, in the guardiolas or the mechanical dryers. And I like to use the guardiolas, we also use low temperatures in, in, in our guardiolas. Mm. Uh, what I like of that is that it's spinning around all day. So we will have in all the lot, we will have a very even uh, 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 humidity, you know, in all the beans. Yeah. So the consistency becomes a lot higher, yeah. right? Which is something we're noticing, for example, in our sustainable profile coffee as well, that the, the consistency in between bags and also in terms of the shelf life of that green coffee is, is pretty amazing. Uh, I mean, it was the, the current lot that we're working with now was harvested a year ago and it's still tasting. You have no evidence of age whatsoever. Uh, and again, every single, every single bag has just been tasting the same, yeah. right? Which is, um, uh, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, Great. I mean, that was uh, just a few details about the, the the drying here, which I think is really interesting, and about how how they tweak it here to get a slightly kind of different profile in the cup as well. Um, so again, thank you guys for tuning in.